Hi, this is Kate Masters for the Frederick News Post, and today I'm reviewing Bella Trattoria in downtown Frederick. So, Bella Trattoria is a new Italian restaurant, and it's probably pretty familiar to people downtown because it's taken over the space on Market Street that Reina used to occupy. It definitely isn't the only place for Italian in the area, but when I went, I did think it presented a pretty compelling new option downtown. I was personally most impressed by the pasta at Bella, especially the gnocchi, which came highly recommended to us by our waiter. If you've never had gnocchi, they're essentially potato dumplings, and Bella's version comes in a really delicious cream sauce that for me just kind of was the definition of comfort food. Uh, It reminded me kind of of a really fancy mac and cheese, and there's just a little bit of bite from the gorgonzola cheese in the sauce. I also ordered the veal pomodoro, which is a cutlet that's tenderized and then very lightly breaded um, in flour and cooked. The meat had a really nice char and was cooked really well, although I think it could have benefited from a little bit more salt or maybe more tomato to kind of heighten the umami flavor of the dish. There was also a pretty good list of starters at the restaurant. I particularly liked the fried calamari, which comes with marinara and a really, actually truly addictive pesto aioli. There are also little fried ribbons of zucchini that come on the plate, which I liked a lot and I thought went particularly well with the marinara. I also ordered the brisaolo, which is a type of cured meat like a prosciutto or a salumi, though I thought it was interesting because you don't see brisaolo as often, especially in Frederick. It's essentially thin slices of cured beef that come drizzled with a really good quality olive oil and some arugula. It's a very light dish and I actually really enjoyed that because so many appetizers around here are very heavy and hard for me at least to finish. Like most places downtown, Bella also has a lot of your classic Italian desserts, so think tiramisu, gelato, cannoli. I tried the apple crostata, which is kind of a free form apple tart. The crust was a little bit tough on the night that I had it, but the filling was really beautiful and it comes with a slice of a nice vanilla gelato, so kind of like your classic American apple pie, but much more elegant. For my full review, click the link in the description above.